Hi lovely viewers, it's me again, your one and only Mtati Mpundu. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time on my channel, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting the red subscribe button down below and turn the bell icon to join the notification squad. Don't forget to like, share and leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this video in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. Good morning all. Many of you have been saying Siawan is quiet. Siawan does not talk. Siawan, are you not seeing what is happening? I'm quiet over politics because politics is like a battlefield. And a good politician does not shoot anyhow in a battlefield. You wait for the right time to shoot so that you get your target shot. Uh, that's why when I was deported in uh, 2016 by Eddie Galungu, I went quiet. I didn't talk. I was waiting for the right time. And that was in 2020. And that is politics. And this is uh, something that I do for a living apart from ministry. I understand it more than anyone else. President HH is a very good man, very good person. But uh, the people that are giving him advice, surrounding him, are messing him up. It's just exactly like the same people that surrounded Edigalungu. And it happens when you get into power, and instead of choosing the people that sacrificed with you, the people that fought with you, the people that understood your pain. You chose people who you believe are very intelligent, very educated people that suit your standard, your friends and family. They never understand the struggle and they will never give you a proper advice. So this is what is happening now to the president. And, uh, I'm praying that he wakes up and realize that uh, uh, things are not okay on his side. Uh, I received a call from a, a minister in the UPND uh, when he won the election yesterday or the day before yesterday, saying he said the party is doing well. We are winning by election. I was laughing. Uh, when I was campaigning for UPND in 2021, two weeks before the presidential election, there was, I think two or three weeks, if I'm not mistaken, there was an election, a by election that was held. And, uh, in Nega Nega, PF won election, I think uh, UPND got to zero in that election, if I'm not mistaken. But in my broadcast, PF people would flood me and say, this is how we are going to whitewash you in 2021. It's going to be Nega Nega formula and what what. I was looking at them, if you, if you know politics, you don't... Uh, talk about victory of by election. It, don't, it, it doesn't measure the popularity of a of a party, especially party that is in power. Uh, few few months ago, when UPND took over power, uh, they said. Edigalungu is gone, Edigalungu is finished, Edigalungu. 
and then the Galungu was very quiet. I came. I read the mood. I don't make a mistake in politics. I read the mood. I say to you people that uh, Edgar Lungu is coming back. That Edgar Lungu is quiet. Edgar Lungu does not come in public. It's just a game. I told you to give him time. He will flood the street. And uh, when that happens, there, there's going to be a serious problem. I don't want to say many things here about UPND, but uh, a revival is coming in 2025 that will make President HH understand the importance of helping the people that sacrifice for him. I want you to mark my word. The opposition party in Zambia, the Catholic Church, and many other things I'm not going to mention, we come on UPND. And a revival that is going to shake UPND the way that PF was shaking in 2021 is coming in the country in 2025 you you can take this voice note and keep it aside don't delete it when it start happening you will remember me remember i told you that edgar lung is coming back i said it and i was given a, an idea on how to stop him earlier and you guys thought that you know UPN doesn't know politics. There is nobody in UPND that understand politics, especially those who are very close to the president. They don't know politics. When I was uh, addressing Edgar Lungu and advising him when we were in good books, he was not taking my advice serious. To him, because when you are in state house, uh, you are more like you are in heaven. So nothing makes sense to you. The people, anything that people say, especially people you believe, these are street people, uh, these are nobody, these are just social media commentators. Uh, whatever they say doesn't make sense to you because you know you wake up there is billions all over you you wake up there is 24 hours electricity you wake up you don't buy milli meal you don't do anything you don't uh, you don't pay for your 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 children's school fees we are more like in heaven everything is okay surrounded by many security so you you will not understand you only understand when you lose power and i can assure you that uh, if uh, President HH loses power. He will regret ever becoming a president of Zambia. Because what is about to come, what is coming in 2025, just get pen and paper and write it somewhere. If it doesn't happen, then know that, that you know that Siawan is a fool. I told H. I mean, I told Edgar Lungu, Edgar Lungu, who did a lot of things, you know, did so many things. But I told him, this is what is going to happen. They thought I was joking. What happened? So the same thing is coming in 2025. The reason why all of us are quiet is because we understand how to shoot in politics. You can't shoot now because if you shoot now, you you're you're opening to wake up and correct a lot of things before the time we don't give space 2025 <laughs> revolution is coming if uh, president hh refused to put his house in order continue listening to people that are eating i mean criminals criminals the corruption that is going on 
in UPND now. I mean, what PF did was little. PF did. PF was nothing compared to what is going on. What is going on in the Ministry of Health? What is going on in the Ministry of Agriculture? A friend of mine, I asked him to go and meet uh, the Minister of Transport. A friend of mine, people that are coming to develop Zambia. And the minister told uh, that uh, the, the person that was leading my friend to pay $100,000 to meet him. I mean, there, we, there, there was no corruption in PF compared to what is happening now. It's just that we, we are not going to talk now. When we start, there will be no room for amendment. So people, people look at people are stupid, you know. And people are things are okay. We are not corrupt. We are not. PF was a baby, you know. What is going on? And the, when the time come in, when the time come for this, <coughs> eh? When the time come for this, <laughs> people will know. We are the people that talk to the people. We are the people that convince the people. You can say whatever you want today about CR1. Or was it, CR1 does not have influence. CR1 did not contribute to us. CR1 did not help us in any way. Zambian people just decided. It was people that was talking to Zambian people that made them change. CR1 was a nobody. From from 2021, when I was talking to 30,000 people at a go campaigning for a church, who else has done it? Can the president himself, HH himself, gather 30,000 people to listen to his campaign promises? I mean, physically and in social media. No. So CR1 does not have influence. Chilu Fiatayali. Chilu Fiatayali that doesn't have following. I mean, he's just growing now. When his life talking about the government, over 2,000 people are watching him. He doesn't have any data about UPND. He doesn't even know what is going on in these ministries. But people are eager to listen to him. So when I come and say, I want to talk about this party, what I know, I mean, if 30,000 people were listening to me when I was fighting, uh, 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 PF how many people do you think will listen to me when I talk about UPN this is a time bomb and it's coming in 2025 not now if President H does not amend his house put things in order he's going to regret being the president of this nation I mean, few people are eating in a whole government, a whole government, government of a country. Few people are eating. And when others want to eat, you tell them that, no, you, you didn't come in, in government to eat. Those who are eating, are they not in government? Must I start mentioning it? Must I start talking about it? Eh? So the 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 Siva Masobo, who is the minister of uh, of health, that woman was going to be in a prison today. If you know anyone that knows her, even if she's in this group, let her deny it. I am the one. That woman was going to be in prison. I am the one that stopped that case, Zawa case. Many of you don't know how that case ended. I am the one, see your one, I am the one, ask her at my house. I have the CCTV footage if she refused. Let her deny. I am the one that freed her. I still have her text message thanking me. Say, Papa, thank you. Because the case has been dropped. I am the one that stopped the case. Now she's a minister of, uh, of health. I know what is going on in that minister. So we don't talk. We are not fools. We are quiet because we are waiting for the right time. There are so many things. I mean, so many things that is going on.
you know and we are quiet when people see i'm not talking they say, see i wanna they have given see i one one million they have given their one million dollar they have give see one this guy no one gave me anything nothing absolutely nothing and i don't need it i am big i don't need it if upnd had to give me anything it must be on top of what i have i'm not hungry i don't move the street i live like a president several of you have come to nigeria and see how i live my properties i can't even count them but when you use people and throw them away it backfires and for you PND it will backfire in 2025 that time there will be no room for amendment you don't win election because you are ruling well we are the ones that engineer victory or losses if you want you can compare what has UPND done two years in power or one almost two years in power compared to what PF did you can see that Eddie Galungu did a lot of job infrastructure everywhere things to point at and say okay this okay this and Eddie Galungu was boasting Eddie Galungu in his heart he thought because he delivered people would vote for him it's a lie that's not politics no one is going to vote for you because you did well people vote for you because of information that is given to them are you telling me that uh, PF did well than MMD? No. MMD, when MMD was there, things were okay. But they were removed through information. As it is today, as, as it is today, compare what PF did in two year, within two years in power to what UPND is doing. And understand how they that anyway i don't I, I sometimes when i want to talk about these things i feel so bad and uh, i i still have to hold my peace time is coming revival is coming president hh is the love that i have for you i wanted to start work in january but i said let me give the president time he still has time to amend uh, amend his ways and the way of the way politics is being done you know there is still a little bit of time but as I'm, as I'm looking at things I don't see anything happening because the government is littered with the greedy people look at the Atami look at Chilufia uh, Chilufia uh, 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 the Minister of Infrastructure, see his tummy. You look at the Minister of Mine, see his tummy. Look at them. So they are those those are people who are supposed to eat for campaigning hard for HH. Those others that campaign hard are not supposed to eat. If they say we want to eat, we want opportunity, they are told we are not here to eat government is not about eating we are not going to behave like pf but guys are behaving worse than pf with evidence just go down i don't shoot blank thing that's why i don't talk anyhow i don't shoot, shoot blank bullet when the time comes people of zambia will know who upnd is this will happen because people chose to be greedy in politics in government greediness is not allowed everyone must eat so that there will be peace what is happening in sudan today is because greediness came in anywhere you see problem division in a, in a party in a government greediness came in in one way or the other people are dying people are losing their families people that sacrifice everything they had for the government are dying no one cares for them no one even want to look at them the musicians that sacrificed for the president they are all poor and all in the street i look at those you call your ips those you call your cadres, the poorest 
even opposition members are doing better than the people you call your cadres, your IPSs, moving from one street to another, looking for food to eat, begging. But the government is in power. Few individuals are getting rich, opening account offshores. The houses in Salama Park have been bought. I mean, all, almost all been bought by greedy people in government. Then you, you let's see. Let's not go there. Let's. We still have a little bit of time to put our house in order, because in 2025, <laughs> if I say what is on the way coming. I feel pity for the president because if that happened he will regret being a president he will regret being the president of the Republic of Zambia he would prefer to have been a businessman enjoy his life and his freedom than him losing power I'm not going to mention anything but let's 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 be wise awe ninjo mfayo onse ninjo puisha nala dagu inozano Ala na ifuba pia ifuto wale wina ma bi-direction. But ifi di pa ground ni visa, ni fimbi. Ama politics ye nari ye shiba. Ala sensing a danger. So danger, na imona. Na imona ati ukukutule yo kutakudi wina. E chachi ni fi ala ndi, tefi ondanda na ine. Na tine sha umfwa po politician wino wino mu UPND. Nangu wakada ba wabade rondolo la fi wino wino fi niti file chitika ukufuma fi chumi ukuba fi pakati. Sha umfwa po. Gufuafi ama shiru ye kaye kaine yo ngufuafi. Uli ya umbi umkasha na ngaisa ni share tukana. Ukulondo lorefi di buino buino. Ufi akulanda teye by election na tuu ina tu watote la muwe bantu wakuchida bomboe. But pa ground wakateka po. Sen kwa mano pa ground itapadi buino. Ah ah. Besa fi eh. Ba PF. Ngani ya waba DK. Kwa tinga bala ala babu. Balota PF. Ukulanda pa ma problem zifile chitika mchalo. Isha umfu hapo buino buino. Ine wa UPND wakada babu. Nala andafe buino siya wani. Usanga fe UPN di ule chitana reason wino wino. Awe. Shata la umfu hapo bufi. Kansha di mwona siya wano. Lyon se nenda danda ula pano nati. Mwe vante nishiba UPN di tabako atabanto wama kada wino wino wala anda fe wino wino. Paka tikui mina finangu kuchita kritisize ama ministers wabo. Bala anda fe ata awe fina firubana. Takwa avu. Baba fe mdi yesi buwana yesi buwana. Imagine, eh, then go to Bogashan. Kwamba no kuchita celebrate na apsa. Ama nese, zama chito, barungu bali chitile fionse, fioba kula infrastructure, bafumisha kuba civil servant in Kongole, but valusa. Kaba vote la uti na pasta ita usi palepe ni kuba tamvisha kumu. Hmm, kukuli la wapolisi, ama ya ndo kuba fumia muli muanda wa. Wapolisi wale kala buinu, ukuba vote la uti warungu kuli wapolisi, ewa wakuli la mayanda. Namba wati mwa shukuru wa ndu. Tu yezi. Asia wanu mtu sana, asia wanu. Adi kwa tamano, adi kwa tamano ya chifiadirwa. Elo psychology, ala angala pali psychology buinu, buinu if you are not sharp. Kuti na brain fi ya kuchitafi brrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrr
tell me what you think about the video you just watched in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you, lovely viewers. Once again, I go by the name of Mutatim Pondum. I love you, peace. I gotta go.